Uh, hello, student. In this lecture, we are going to uh, learn about control systems. Okay. Uh, so, I think I'm recording the session. Yes. Okay. So, I'll share my screen. Okay. So, here I am using a, a handwritten uh, note to deliver this lecture part. Okay. Actually, I uh, this is uh, uh, this is. Uh, this is not the normal way, okay, of delivering a lecture, okay. My lecture actually, okay. So I'm not using any notes to deliver the lecture, okay. Uh, I already told you that note should be prepared by you, okay. So at the end of the yellow, each yellows, I will leave the guidance set of uh, set of uh, question questionaries okay and that will help you to prepare your note okay so that is the normal way okay but here i am uh, using a uh, uh, handwritten note okay actually i did this because uh, uh, we are using a reference book no in that reference book we don't have this control system part okay control system engineering part we don't have so that is why I uh, use this kind of uh, written note. Okay. So you have to, you you will have something to read. Okay. So that is why I use this one. Okay. So actually we are not going to see the deep of this subject. Okay. I also, that is not my subject actually. Okay. I also don't know much about control system. Okay. Uh, so here we are not going to, uh, learn the deep deep things okay uh, we are going to see the surface actually okay so uh, we will uh, start okay we will start uh, so uh, <clears throat> okay so we know uh, we, so i think you know the importance of this importance of this word control okay so you know that for every work we have to have a control, no? otherwise we can't do that work. For example, if you are reading a book, okay, you need to control many things. Okay, first you have to control your eyes, okay, to to see a specific direction. That is, you need to focus your eyes on the book. Okay, then if you are not using a table, you have to hold the book. Okay, that you have to control your arms okay and if you want to turn on or turn the papers turn the paper you need to use your finger okay for that task you need to have a control okay i think uh, you can understand this okay uh, if you if you ask a kid to do that task if for simply if you ask a kid to turn the papers okay uh, maybe that kid cannot do it no Okay, maybe he he may he or she may be tear the paper. Okay, uh, he can't do it properly. Okay, actually that is that is because he doesn't have a control. No, he is still he is still practicing the control. Okay, so uh, he can't do that works. Okay, so actually that is uh, same for the equipment also. Okay, if you are using the equipment. Okay, that also that equipment should have a control, no? Otherwise, it will not, it will, it can't uh, do the specific task. Okay, okay. So that is, uh, so I think, I, I, I hope that you can understand the importance of the control, okay? The word control, okay? And uh, here I also mm, uh, take another example, okay? For example, if you are, uh, going to the SLTC, going to the going to your campus from home. Okay, so you have to have control many things. First, you have to control your legs to walk in uh, to the bus station. Then you have to stop the bus using your arms. Okay, then you have to get on to that bus. Okay, so there are many things. Okay, you have to, you have to control. Okay. Uh, okay, 
So that is the word control. That is already, I, I think you have the idea. You know the importance of this word. Okay. So, and what is a system? Okay. Actually, systems, uh, this word is uh, defined in many ways in different, different fields. Okay. For example, in signal and system, I think you don't have that six, six, uh, subject. Okay. So, um, what I want to tell you that that systems will de define in many ways. Okay. Def the system is defined in many ways in different, different subjects. Okay. And I, I got this definition. Uh, this may be the definition. This may be not the definition. This may be just a description. Okay. Uh, anyway, I get this description from the Wikipedia. You can also see it uh, on Google. Okay. Uh, so it said that a system is a group of interrelated elements or component. Okay. That act to that act according to a set of rule to give a unified whole, okay? So that is the idea, okay? A system can be one component, okay? Or it may be a collection of some component, okay? And it should give or it should do a specific task, okay? That system should do a specific task, okay and the component of the system should be uh, interconnected and uh, work okay work uh, by supporting each other to uh, do that task no that is a system okay so there are many systems no in your if you consider our body if we consider our body in our body, there are many systems. For example, we have a blood circulating system. I don't know the word is correct or not. Okay. Anyway, it has uh, the heart. Okay. It has some pump. Okay. Pipes to transfer the blood. Okay. It has some small pipes, maybe nerves or something. I can't remember. Okay. So uh, you know that uh, the heart will do some function and that pipe will do some function, okay? And there can be some valves, there can be some uh, filter, okay? Uh, in that system, in that blood circulating system, okay? And each component will do a specific task and if we, uh, and all specific tasks, the, the, that component may do a specific task or it may be help to another component to do a specific task, okay? There can be uh, both things, okay? So uh, <clears throat> anyway, you can see that it will perform a specific function, okay? It will perform a specific function, okay? Uh, and uh, the all component should be work according to a protocols, no? According to a rules. Otherwise, it can't give the uh, specific uh, work done. Okay. So I think uh, you have the idea now. What is a system? Okay. So, uh, for example, if you consider your Wristwatch, it is a system. It will perform my specific task. If you consider your electric iron uh, in the home that used to iron the clothes, okay? That is also a system and it will do a specific task. Okay, if you consider your TV set, if you consider your uh, fan, okay? Every domestic items, okay? Everything are the systems, okay? everything other system that will do any function. So all our systems, okay? Um, <clears throat> so there can be many type of signal systems, okay? Uh, biological systems, maybe electronic system, electrical system, okay? Like iron, mechanic, mechanical system, like uh, uh, watch, okay? Watch motor, 
and the water mortar likewise okay and uh, there can be some hydraulic systems there are hydraulic system there are pneumatic system okay so uh, there are many systems available okay <clears throat> so if i ask you a question okay if i ask you what is the nature of this world what will uh, be your answer there can be different answers okay so one answer my answer is the world is changing constantly okay i know we know that no the world is changing always okay so any system in the world also should be changed uh, should change constantly no okay okay a systems is changing rapidly actually it is called a dynamic system okay a system if a system change constantly we call it dynamic system okay so dynamic systems are changing okay system changing means the given output desired output or desired task also will change okay that means it will not do the specific work okay or it will not give the specific output the desired output okay if the if the system is changed say that this is the system okay and you are giving some input okay you are you are giving the input okay and you have the output okay and if this if the system is changed the output also should be changed no definitely the output also change so it will not give the desired output in other words it will not perform the desired function okay so we have a problem no okay so we have a problem so we need to somehow control the change of this system okay and we have to care about this function the specific function of the system okay we need to try to get the desired function done okay otherwise uh, we don't we will not have we will not have the expected thing no expected function or expected output we will not have okay so we have to make it stable this system okay to give the desired output okay actually that is what control system do okay the control system will try to keep the stability of the dynamic system okay and in order to produce the desired outcome i think you can understand this okay so <clears throat> so so you can see that okay if the system is changing if the system is changing we have to first identify the change no to give a solution first we need to identify the change how it is uh, changing and what are the parameters change likewise we have to first identify so that one we have to analyze okay and then we can find the solution then we have to implement that term, that solution okay to keep the stability okay and maybe we have to optimize that solution okay that maybe for example if we if we if we have a solution and if we implement it sometime it is not working very well then we have to optimize it okay so likewise uh, there are many things to do related with this uh, uh, system stability okay okay so actually that related subject we called as control system engineering okay that subject we called as control system engineering so there you have to analyze design developing and implementing okay uh, systems or solution 
that control the dynamic system. Okay. So I think you can understand this one. Okay. What is control system engineering? It is a subject actually. So in control system engineering, actually we have to uh, develop develop and implement the things okay implement the things okay and also we have to analyze the things analyze the things okay for analyzing and designing sometime we need to have mathematical modeling okay mathematical modeling okay so uh, there are many maths mathematics relation things and also uh, practical things, engineering things involved with this subject, okay? So all subject we call as control system engineering, okay? So it is very uh, important and very uh, deep subject, okay? Okay, so actually here we are not going to learn about control system engineering, okay? Okay, there is a subject. Okay, there is a subject for that for that task. Okay, so that subject is control system engineering. But here we going we are going to see the surface of this subject actually. Okay, we are going to see what is a control system and what are the how we can classify them. Okay, and how we can map them with our uh, day to day work. Okay, so that is the things we are going to learn here. Okay, not much things. Okay, so I think now you have already understand what is a system and how the control is important for us. Okay, and what is the control system engineering? I think now you, you should have a little idea about that. Talk. Okay, okay, so we will see what is a control system. Okay, so what is a control system? Okay. Actually, the control system is a system uh, which any quantity or condition, condition, I think some paragraph is missing here. Okay, anyway, I don't know what happened. Okay, so a control system is a system of which any quantity or condition. So this will be the output actually. Okay, okay, so this is referring to the output. Oh, uh, that is also called controlled variable, okay? That is also called controlled variable, okay? So control system is nothing but uh, a system, okay? A system that is capable of uh, keep the output stable, okay? to give the desired uh, value, okay? The desired, uh, what is called, uh, the de desired output, okay? Control system is a system, okay? Which, uh, which give, which give the desired output, okay? Which give the desired output and is stable, the systems to do that task okay so that is the control system okay so if i write here the control system is a system of which any quantity or condition so this is the output called control variable control control variable uh, of a uh, machine okay for machine uh, or maybe uh, control variable mean now output of a machine or most probably it should be a machine okay or it may be a, a mechanism okay. mechanism uh, or anything okay anything uh, according to the uh, as per the desired okay as per the desired okay so that is the control system okay that is a control system the control system 
will will be responsible to step to keep the stable to keep the stability of a output variable okay so that is called the controlled variable okay so i think that is the idea okay so this is responsible respon responsible to keep the stability stability of the controlled variable of the controlled variable controlled variable means the output that output can be uh, can be a condition okay it may be a, uh, some value any value okay it can be a condition or it can be a value that is why it called it is it may be a quantity or condition okay so anyway uh, stability of a con of the controlled variable so it, here i write the control variable responsible to keep the, the, the control systems is responsible to keep the stability of the controlled variable controlled variable or the output output of any system any system any system it can be a machine okay it can be a machine it can be uh, any mechanism or anything okay anything okay output of any systems as we decide as we expect as we expect so that is the uh, description of a control system it may be it, it may be not the definition but uh, that is the description of a control system okay so we can explain a control system like that okay so i think you have the idea so if you have any uh, issue you can uh, you can see the internet okay oh please uh, ask me okay if you can't understand this then i will explain it uh, again okay anyway we will see some uh, uh, example then i think you can get the idea okay okay so if we consider control system it will look like this okay so we have to give the input okay input we called it desired response okay desired response okay so this this is the response we expect okay this is the response we expect okay and we have a control system and then we have output response okay so this will be the actual result this will be the actual result okay so maybe the actual result although we are using a control system actual result may be different from the expect value okay so there are, so that is why we need to have some modification and some optimization for that okay so if you consider this control system okay so here it is uh, drawn in one box okay but if i separate this box okay it should have a controller and it can it should be have some actuators okay. and actuators will uh, directly connect with the output you know already that this okay output okay you know what are the actuators okay motors relays those are actuators okay i will explain okay i will explain this okay and maybe you will have some sensors also okay sensors okay you will have some sensors also sensor okay and this sensor also maybe 
connected to the controller somehow, maybe not directly, okay, but sometimes it is also connected, okay. So control system should have at least these things, okay, not uh, actually maybe sensor may be not there, but it should definitely it should have control and actuators, okay. Otherwise we can't, uh, we can't do a function there, okay. And there are also can be sensors, okay. And sensors will measure the environment uh, parameters, or maybe it measure the output, okay. So both uh, can be done using the sensor, okay. So uh, so that is uh, these things should include in the control system block, okay. This would be these things. If we get together, so it is equal to this control system box. Okay, so I think you have the you have some idea. Okay, so we will see some example. So, okay. Now say that we are working from home facilities. Okay, we are working from home facilities. Okay, so. we have to have some control for that one, okay? So there should be a control system, okay? Control system. So in our body, okay? In our body, there should be a control system, okay? There should be a control system. Control system, okay? Control system. And we have to give the out input to this control system. And what is the input here? Okay, so you can define it in many ways, okay? So uh, the input may be the destination, destination or the address, location, okay? And uh, so your body should be controlled, controlled to get that desired task, okay? Desired task to get to the desired location, okay? To the get to the destination, okay? So this will be your control system in your body okay so if i uh, if we try to understand it with this one okay already i told you that there should be a controller and there are some actuators okay there are some actuators i will go i will delete this one now okay 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 so we will see then okay okay now you can see that inside this control systems, okay, we should have a control. And what is the controller here? It should be your brain. That is the control. The brain will control the body actually. Okay. And what are the actuators? Okay. And also you should have actuators. What are the actuators here? Actuators may be legs. Okay, maybe legs and uh, so maybe muscles. Okay, actuator, actuators may be muscle. If you write legs, arm, likewise, uh, it also correct. Okay, and actuators are muscle because we are we are moving this thing using the muscle. No, okay, okay, and that is the actuator. Okay, those are the actuators, legs, arms, likewise. Maybe the head also. You have to uh, you have to turn your head. Okay. So those are the actuators. Okay. And you should have some sensors also for this task. The sensor will be your eye. Eyes, no? Okay. So you have to see the location. You have to see the you have to see the road environment okay then the, the the brain will get the information from the eyes whether there are obstacles the road is uh, bent or uh, road is straight likewise you will get some information from this eyes okay and brain will give the commands to actuators to act accordingly okay then you can walk to the desired direction. Desired direction. Okay. 
sorry, a direction. To done all these things, okay, we have to give the input, okay, the 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 address or location or the location of the destination you are going to you are going to go, okay. So you can see that this walking can be a map to a control system. The controller is there, actuators are there, sensors are there, and we have input and we have output. Okay, so we can uh, we can have a control system here. Okay, this one, uh, other one. Okay, so so say that we are going to. Uh, we are going to speed speed the car okay we, we are going to reduce the speed we are going to stop the car okay when we are driving okay so that is also we have to have some control system okay so uh, the, our control system will be the brake system in this case okay so it also have a Control. I don't know about that. Actually, I don't know. I don't have idea about how the brakes are working. Okay. Anyway, there should be a central part. Okay. Central part. Okay. And here we, for that part, the brake pad should be connected. Brake pad should be connected. Okay. This is what we push. Okay. This is the brake pad. This is a brake pedal. Sorry. This is the brake pedal. Not the brake pad, okay. The brake pads are in the tire, no? Okay. And somehow this should transfer some power using maybe using hydraulic, maybe using oil. Okay, we are using brake oil now. Okay. Maybe the, this is a hydraulic pump. Okay. Hydraulic. Okay. And we give some force to the brake pad. Okay, and that brake pad will touch the wheel, then this wheel be, will be stopped. Okay, and we can reduce the, uh, we can reduce the speed. Okay, so this control system will control the speed of the car. Okay, and what is the input? Input will be the force or uh, our push. Okay, push or maybe the force to this brake pad, brake pedal actually. This should be the pedal, okay, brake pedal. Okay, then here you have a controller here, okay, that force will detect by the controller, okay, okay, or because of this push, okay, it may be, it may not be detected, okay, like uh, in Arduino's case, okay, so they. This can be a mechanical system, mechanical plus hydraulic system. Okay, so due to this force, anyhow, some uh, fluid will be transmitted to this brake pad, and also that create a force on this brake pad. Then it is touched to the wheel, and it will be uh, working. Okay, so likewise, it can we can do that one. Okay, maybe it can be happen like that. Okay. So you can see that this will be the output, no? This will be the output, okay? So you can see that uh, the input is the uh, out, uh, input is the force to the pedal and output is force to the wheel. In that way, you can realize this, it, okay? Force to the wheel by the brake pad, okay? And that, that force also will reduce the speed, okay? So also you can realize the output as a speed anyway, okay? Both are correct, okay? So you can identify this in many ways, okay? We don't know the exact word. Actually, that part is, that what, what is happening there, maybe uh, only know the, the, the mechanics are, only know in these things, no, we don't know, okay? But we have to identify what is the input, okay? And how it controlling part is handled and what are the output, that's enough, okay? So input will be the push to the brake pedal 
and output may be the force force happened to the brake pad or the speed okay anything okay okay so if you consider the air condition if you consider the air condition okay so uh, so you know that air condition will uh, will keep the cool of the of a room okay so you can see that uh, uh, maybe the input may be the temperature we set using the remote control controller we can set the temperature now from 17 20 21 celsius likewise you can set the temperature so that will be the input to the system control system of the air condition okay and the output will be the actual temperature okay temperature of the room okay so it may be uh, equal to this setting temperature or it may be different from setting temperature okay okay and uh, likewise there are many examples okay i hope i i think you can uh, <clears throat> you can uh, identify the controlling part and the input and the output by yourself okay so the, so you should be able to identify that okay okay so uh, here we have the controller speed of pneumatic motor okay so this is a pneumatic motor uh, it work on air it is not an electrical motor okay so you know that electrical motor okay electrical motor we have to give a, we have to connect it to the electrical power. We have to give electric voltage. Okay. So it will create a, a electromagnetic force. We called it EMF and it will rotate. Then we give the electric power. Okay. It will create a EMF a electromagnetic force and it will uh, rotate. Okay. And pneumatic motors, we send the air. Okay, we send the air to the motor, and uh, due to that air, the motor is rotating. Okay, so uh, sometime in, uh, in in the automation, okay, in the automation, we are preferred to use this pneumatic uh, motor. Okay, because if some disturbance happen, it not affected to the motor actually. But here, if the disturbance happens, if, if, if it is rotating or circulating to any specific direction, if some disturbance happens, okay, uh, we call that it is back EMF. Okay, the another EMF, another electromagnetic force in opposite direction can be induced here. So it will damage the mode. Okay. So because of that, we are using pneumatic one, okay? So I already told you that automation, there are many automated system. We can use air, yeah, we can, there can be hydraulic automation system, okay? No, pneumatic automation system using air. So this, uh, so this pneumatic motors are used in uh, pneumatic, uh, automation system okay so i think we can see okay so let's see that um, yeah, pneumatic okay see this one
Motor. So here we can see a pneumatic okay. so here you can see that okay so this is animation okay but uh, this is how it works okay so you can see that uh, here we are sending air okay we are sending air from here okay so this is a valve okay and we are sending air Okay, and that here yeah, create a force on that uh, racer. Okay, in that racer, and uh, this rotating. No, Maybe you can see it. Okay. So it is uh, it is working on air. Yeah not electric, we are not uh, using electricity to operate, to rotate that motor, it is happen using air, okay? Okay, so, Okay. So likewise, it is uh, rotating. Okay. So these are the pneumatic uh, motors actually. Okay. Maybe this valve is controlled by electronic. Okay. This valve may be controlled by electronic. Okay. Uh, and uh, there should be a air compressor. Okay. And also the electrical motor may uh, may. Uh, create that uh, uh, high pressure air, okay? But this motor is working on uh, air force, not a electric, electricity force, okay? Uh, okay. So we will get back to our lecture actually, okay? We'll get back to our lecture again. So actually, I want to tell, want to show you that because uh, uh, I have I have uh, discussed something related with this pneumatic things, no, in our uh, class discussion. Okay, so that is working. That is uh, working based on air. Okay, pneumatic uh, systems. Okay, okay. So I think now you can, you will have idea about the control system, okay? So there are many control systems, okay? So if, if the speed of the pneumatic motor, okay? Uh, so you can see that the speed is controlled by uh, the input may be the pressure of the air, some value, okay? Then the output may be the motor speed, okay? okay. Likewise, uh, there can be many uh, control system not in electronic electrical domain, it may be in, in any field, okay? It may be in any field, okay? Okay. Okay, so now we see, so I think now you have idea what is a control system, okay? It is nothing but uh, uh, a system that is responsible for keep the stability 
of the output okay output or the stability of the controlled variable as per desired as per desire no so that is the idea okay so we, we will see how we can classify the control system okay so here we are going to classify uh, we are not going to see all the type of control systems okay so uh, broadly we can classify them into two okay one is open loop control system other is closed loop control system okay in this third closed room control system again you can divide it into two feedback control system and feed forward control system feed forward control system okay and we are going to see about open loop control system and feedback control system we are not going to focus on feed forward control system okay so we will see simply okay so uh, <clears throat> uh, so open loop control system is uh, a control system uh, here the controlled action action is independent or not dependent uh, upon the output output of the uh, system okay for example okay for example say that you have a control system we say that you have a control system okay and you have the input and then you have the output okay for example consider the air conditioner okay air conditioner okay so you set the in air conditioner the input is set in uh, temperature let's say that you have set the temperature for celsius 70 okay so it then it cool up to uh, 70 celsius 17 celsius okay then using the thermostat we can uh, turn off the compression air condition okay uh, so you can have output okay so we should have the output at 70 no if it is not changed okay but you practically know that if 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 the environment is very hot or there are many people in the room okay so it is not uh, stable at the 70 okay we can have much higher celsius value okay likewise okay but this air condition will not get this value actual value okay it just try to try to uh, try to cool the environment as much as possible but it this doesn't measure this value the actual temperature value so what is the output okay what is the output so it may be any output okay but that is not uh, directly or that is not uh, directly dependent on the input okay okay so that is so here the control action action actually not the control variable the the control action not dependent on the uh, input uh, no on the output okay because it it doesn't measure the output again okay and it, it doesn't do any control to keep this celsius value to the desired value okay so this control mechanism will not depend on the output value actual value actual uh, result value okay it doesn't depend on the actual response okay so that kind of control system we are normally called as uh, open loop control system i think you have get the idea okay 
for example, if you consider, uh, uh, say that you are consider the rice cooker, okay, rice cooker, okay. So uh, in rice cooker, I don't know. I think in rice cooker we are not setting any time, no. Uh, I think girls know this things maybe because they are cooking okay uh, I think uh, we have another one called multi cooker or something okay and we have to we have to uh, we have to keep the time according to the uh, according to the food we are cooking okay so say that we have this kind of multi cooker and we set a time okay we set a time Okay, and uh, it after it get this time, this multi cooker will turn off. Okay, so it the output is the cooked food. No, output is the cooked food. Okay, boiled food. Okay, so it doesn't check the foods are cooked or not. Okay, although it is cooked or not, it will it it will be turned off after this. Uh, input time okay so this control action the control action control in action is only depend on only depend on the input 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 time in this case input time in this case the input temperature if you are consider the air conditioner it is it depend on the control action depend on the input value here the same no if you consider this multi uh, multi cooker okay so your control action is depend on the input if the time is close it will be automatically turned off it doesn't take check the output no output is the cooked food it doesn't check the cooked the the foods are cooked or not properly okay it just do it control action based on the input not the output okay so as the washing machine no in washing machine or no automatic washing machine you have to uh, set the time okay you, you have to set the time okay once the time is finished the the washing machine will stop okay and if you have if you let's say that if you if you forget to put the soap soap powder washing powder to the <clears throat> washing machine it doesn't care no? okay. it doesn't care it doesn't care the clothes are washed properly or not if you give the input time it will work at that time and it will do the task or the task related with this time and it will stop okay so all these many domestic equipment we are using are most probably open loop control systems okay it use most probably open loop control system okay so for the open loop control system we will not having any sensors most probably we don't have sensors sometimes we will have but that sensor will not measure the output actually okay if we are sometimes the sensor may be there okay to get any another value but it will not change the output that means it will not going to measure this controlled variable co output okay because this control action is not depend on this output. So it doesn't take the output value. It doesn't care. Okay. So those are open loop control system. So you have to properly understand this. Okay. I think you have understand. Okay. Another thing is closed loop control system. Okay. So closed loop means control action is dependent on the output. Okay. So we have to change the control action according to the output, definitely. So you have to measure the output. No? 
you have to measure the output. Then according to the output, you can, uh, you can change the control action as required, no? Okay, so that is called closed loop control system, okay? So in closed loop control system, uh, the output should be measured, okay? And it is feedback to the input again, okay? So this will be the feedback system, feedback system, okay. feedback system. And feed forward system means before the output sometime, it can be measure the output change, output disturbance, okay? So if we can measure the output output before giving to the operation, giving the operation, we can adjust that one, okay? We can adjust that one. Here you have some time to stable this output, to, to, to make stable this output, to get the required output, you will have time, some time. But if you can detect it somehow before giving, before having the output, you can make the necessary necessity, you can make a necessary uh, change to the control action, okay? So those are called feed forward control loops, okay? So here we are not going to focus on that one, okay? We are only focusing on feedback system, okay? So feedback system should have sensors definitely at least to measure the output, okay? Okay, so, okay, so, uh, so for example, uh, so can you imagine some example here, okay, so definitely can you remember that we have, uh, we have defined, we have prepare the automation system that keep the room temperature at the specific time, it is specific one, can you remember that? We have a temperature sensor, okay? And the temperature is sensor is connected to Arduino, okay? And this Arduino is connected to a relay, okay? Okay, and this relay is connected to the 250, okay? And we have a AC machine, okay? And also another port is connected to another relay, and that is again to the 230, and we have a heater here, okay? And if you measure the value, okay? So you can measure the value and you can turn on the heater and the air conditioner, okay? So this is the air conditioner and this is the heater according to the temperature, okay? For example, if you want to keep at 25, if the temperature is high, higher than 25, you can turn on the AC. If the temperature is lower than 25, you can turn on the heater. Likewise, you are measuring the output of the system and you are going to change the output again so that you have to change your control action, okay? So that is a feedback system, okay? So there are many feedback systems, okay? So I have given uh, exercise, okay? So you have to identify the control operation of the human walking to a desired place and explain that open or closed loop operation, okay? Please try to do this by yourself, okay? And, okay. And uh, I already told you that uh, we sometimes we have to use mathematical modeling to study and analyze the characteristics of the control system, okay? So the mathematical modeling part is also there. There we are going to find the response, okay, of the system, the stability of the system to measure the stability, to, to, uh, to measure the stability. There are many, uh, uh, many techniques we are going, we are using, okay. We are using many plots, okay. So those things we are not going to talk here, okay. And, uh, uh, so if you consider a controller, okay, controller, this controller can be, uh, can be 
uh, implement in many ways. Okay, there are different techniques. Okay, uh, for the controller, we called P proportional controller, integrative controller, derivative controller, likewise, and PID controller we called. Okay, all these things are there. Proportional integration and derivatives. Okay. So these are called PID controllers. Okay. And these PID controllers are uh, used in many applications. Okay. For example, in robotics, we are using this PID control. Okay. That means uh, the uh, if you want to make a robot, there should be very high sophisticated control system. Okay. For example, uh, so you know about the robot, no? Okay. You know about robot. Robot is uh, the human shaped machine. Okay. Okay. This is the picture. The, the hum human is come to our mind when we are talking about the robot. Okay. So you can see that uh, some robots are working. No? Some robots are working. It is not very simple task. Okay. If you make, uh, if you make, uh, uh, make a robot likewise okay and if you if you put some liver here and if you put some motor here to this uh, joint okay and if you rotate this motor you can't just walk this robot okay report it uh, this this uh, this uh, when so you know that when we are working there are many uh, forces happen talk happen okay okay so we have to, uh, we have to, uh, we have to, we have to uh, apply the opposite force to cancel that force. Okay, otherwise we can't keep our balance. Okay, so it is done by the, the brain actually. Okay, so that is why very little kid can't walk alone he still he, his uh, brain is not trained to that one okay so we, if he uh, lift a leg there may be other forces happen and he can't balance his body and he can fall down okay so happen to the uh, uh, robot okay so if you want to walk if we want to if you if 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 a robot want to walk okay we have to measure that we have to measure that first we have to measure that uh, opposite uh, we, we have to measure that unnecessary forces and then we have to put the opposite forces to cancel them okay for that one you have to measure it and you have to uh, again uh, you have to again uh, create the forces, back forces, okay? So that is very complex things, okay? So you have to have a very powerful control system, okay? So normally PID controllers are used, okay, for that term, okay? <clears throat> so that is the idea, okay? Um, uh, so... And also, I want to tell you some, uh, I think you already know that when we are talking about a control system, there can be many terms, actuators, you know that, what is actuators, okay? Uh, we, we have already talked with these things, talk about these things, okay? So these are giving the outputs, uh, uh, these are giving the outputs things, okay? So actually these are, Output transducers, okay, motors, relays, likewise, okay, AC machine, heater, those are actuators, okay, and you have a controller, okay, the controller may be the brain is a biological controller, and there are there can be many electronics controller, digital controller, like microcontroller, Arduino, likewise. And also there can be a pneumatic controller, hydraulic controller, we don't know many things, okay? So 
you know what is actuator, you should know what is a controller, okay? And we, we are talking about the implementation of this control, okay, using PID likewise, okay? And that is not necessary actually, okay? And uh, we, uh, we should have sensors, you already know the sensors, it used to get the input data, okay? So those are input transducers, okay? And uh, you can see that in the closed loop control system, there is another one, this, this one. Actually, we call this a sum injunction. Okay. Sum injunction. Okay. Uh, it is actually at, uh, it is at algebraically right, okay? I can't pronounce that word, what is? Okay, algebraic, okay. Uh, so it will just add the sensor output and the input signal, okay. Okay, so it will give the error signal. Okay, so error signal is the algebraic sum of the output signal and the input signal, okay. So it is done that uh, that summation is done by the sum injunction okay so if you are using electronic circuit this uh, you can use the operational amplifier or pamps as a sum injunction okay so <clears throat> uh pamps as a sum injunction okay so these things are the things you should know okay uh, definitely you should know what is the actuators and what are those sensor what is the sensor and what are those uh, what is the controller okay likewise you have to know these things okay the plant means uh, so that is the system that will give the output okay uh, that will give the output for example in our case okay the plant will be the ac ac machine no Heater. Okay. The actuators are relays actually because we give the uh, we give our controlled signal to the relay. Then relay act and turn on the ACO heater. So ACO heater will be uh, will be uh, act as the plant. Okay. Uh, so those are the things you should know, okay? Please go through this lecture and if you have any problem, please ask me, okay? So basically, you should know what is a control system, okay? And how, what are the type of control system? Open loop, actually that is the class of control system, not types, okay? When we are uh, talking the type of control system, there are many types actually, discrete control system, analog control system, Likewise, those are the types. Okay, so these are classes of okay? uh, the control system. Okay, so this is the classification of control system: open loop control and uh, uh, closed loop control system. Okay, so here we are talking about only feedback control system. Okay, so also you have to know these terms related with the control system. In addition to that, we have the sum injunction that done the algebraic sum of the input signal and the output signal. Okay. So in the in electronic system, we can use op amps for this one. And the error signal. Error signal means the algebraic sum of the input signal plus output signal, okay, and uh, this is called the actuator signal, actuating signal or likewise, okay. So at least you should know these terms, okay, uh, that is enough, okay. Uh, okay, so we will stop here, okay. I think uh, you have the idea. Actually, this is a this is just a summary. We have talked in the uh, in our uh, classroom. Okay, in our 
in our um, interaction session okay so this is just a summary okay but uh, you should know these things okay uh, okay thank you